Mordecai, and Margaret. It seems like they would be together at the end of regular show, but that never happened. Here's the truth behind why. Regular show brought happiness to almost any viewer who decided to sit down and watch an episode. The adventures our park heroes faced were unlike anything else, and in this surreal world, you have to keep an open mind, because nothing is out of the question. While the show always kept its over-the-top nature, it took a bit of a different turn in the middle few seasons. Instead of going with more wacky situations of the week, there were actual story arcs surrounding the characters. More specifically, Mordecai was developing his relationships, and viewers saw every step of the way. This was the point in regular show that ultimately split the fandom. On one side of things, you got the fans who don't mind all the relationship stuff and actually welcome it because it's something different. On the other side though, there are fans who just want more crazy shenanigans they're used to. Strong arguments can be made for both sides, but whether you like it or not, the show continued with Mordecai's love interests. At one point, Margaret took up a ton of focus and eventually they broke up and Mordecai found CJ. This would also lead to a breakup, but fans had a question. Who would he actually end up with for the rest of his life. That's where we get to the series finale. After the gang saves the day, you're more than familiar with this montage. It showcases the characters we've been following for so long as their lives continue 25 years later. Some of this was... Unexpected though, especially when it comes to Mordecai. Normally, you'd assume that he and Margaret would finally get together forever, since over the course of the show, they seemed perfect for each other. Unfortunately for some, that wasn't how things went. In a surprising turn of events, Mordecai finds someone completely new at an art gallery, and next thing you know, he starts a family with her. Well, that was fast. This is the character he'll spend the rest of his life with, but there's a twist. We have never seen her before. In fact, this series finale doesn't even give us enough time to see her develop, and fans are left with more questions than answers. It's not often that you come across characters who are literally introduced in the final moments of a show, so it made sense why people were confused. This whole situation was weird, but luckily, we have an official answer. Around the time of the finale, head writer Matt Price and supervising director Calvin Wong held a Reddit Ask Me Anything. Fans wasted no time in wanting to find the truth. Hey guys, I joined this place at the right time, so... What made you guys write in Batgirl? Why not Margaret or CJ? I'm sure everyone wants to know. First question, great question. We felt like the Margaret CJ story was complete and they were both on their own path already. We also felt like Mordecai had moved on in his life. He finally left the park to pursue art and we thought it'd be cool if he met someone while doing that. But we love Margaret and CJ and we're sure that they're happy without Mordecai. He was too wishy-washy with them. Now, when you think about it, that answer makes a lot of sense. Regular show may be absolutely insane insane at times, but at its heart, these are characters meant to reflect reality. They go through everyday problems just like you and me, traversing through life's natural obstacles. One of those is romance, and Mordecai clearly didn't have the easiest time. She's not coming back, dude. She's gone. Look, I know, alright? I know. It's just... I mean, I don't still have feelings for her, but I do in a way. Matt's explanation fits in with the core ideas of regular show. To end off this video, let's take a look at what series creator JJ Quintel has to say. I know that Margaret and CJ, that was a very big part of the show for Mordecai, that kind of filtered through, and it was something where I knew it would be nice if we could make that work, but I knew that there were two camps. I knew that it was a bit of a problem because there were two camps of fans, people who liked Margaret and people who liked CJ. And with the way we played that story out, it feels like he messed it up for both of them. There was no way he could get either of them back. So. So, there you have it. At the end of the day, even if some were disappointed, regular show stayed as real as it could. Mordecai would soon be facing a brand new chapter in his life, one that was a little different, but still understandable in the context of the show. It was time to move on. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.